Good afternoon, Mary Joy. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Mary Joy, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Mary Joy Lumaran Kalamba, 34 years old. I have four kids. I'm married. And oh. uh, I live in Tagibabuton City, ma'am. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? Uh, to provide the needs of my children, ma'am. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia because uh, it is good and beautiful country and also near in the Philippines, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? I'm qualified, ma'am, because I'm passed a medical exam. May I know what your education level is? Uh, high school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? Uh, I'm working for two years as a housemaid, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am, especially my children. Okay, how about elderly? Yes, ma'am, especially my mother. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Uh, Filipino food, ma'am. How about other dishes like Chinese food, European, Indian food, and Malay food? No, ma'am, but I'm willing to learn, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, yes ma'am. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Uh, cleaning, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My husband, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and yes. your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Uh, I'm hardworking, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Uh, I assure you, ma'am. So I will do my duties and all responsibilities as your housemaid, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a no. maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. 
Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Uh, no, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Mary Joy. Yes, ma'am. We have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I yes, have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will continue to work, ma'am, till finish my contract, ma'am. So tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, I will work as domestic helper, ma'am, to provide the needs of my family, ma'am. Okay, Mariel. I mean, Mary Joy. What yes, do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Uh, thank you very, very much for your time and day. Okay, what Madam. do you want to tell to them? Any more? No, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much, Mary Joy. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.